Mic check testing one two one two. Can I be? Am I heard? Can I? Can you hear me? Awesome. <coughs> Question, how well can you hear me well against the music? I'm just doing a sound test. La 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 la. Welcome to the stream, Frankie. Awesome, awesome. Uh, I'll get started very soon. Uh, mm. uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, How are you all doing today? Uh, I want to get the link to the stream, but I don't know how to do that. Welcome, Noah. Uh, let's make sure everything's okay, and then we'll be ready to start in about five minutes. So, we have a different kind of stream today, and that is, 
Uh, just make sure everything's fine. Oh, okay, right. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. <coughs> we're good. We're hopefully good. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, that's there. Awesome. Right. Good. We can start now. Awesome. What's the time stamp? I don't know. Um, cool. So, um, welcome to the stream. As you can see, um, we have a different type of stream today. We have, um, a sort of let's play stream. So this is, uh, Lacria Legend. So I don't know if any of you have read the description of the stream on the bottom, uh, yet, yet. Um, basically this game is rather special to me, um, especially as, uh, special to me in my sort of career as a video game music composer. Um, this would be the first game uh, that I have composed a full soundtrack for. Um, it will also be one of the first games to come out <laughs> that I've composed for as well. Um, so you must have heard of Lacquer Legends on my channel like for the past couple of months to a year or so. Uh, more or less the entire soundtrack is on my YouTube so you've probably heard bits and bobs of the soundtrack. Um, but you've never seen the game. It's like, oh, this is the soundtrack, but where's the game? The game has finally been released. It came out about a month ago. Um, the only reason I'm late uh, to sort of sharing this with you guys is because I've been away for the past month and, and a bit because I've been so busy and I've had a guest round and it's just, it's been chaos. That's most of the, pretty much the reason why I've disappeared. And I only, I only really managed to bring out an arrangement today, which is Acker Road uh, from Sonic Forces. Um, so what's going to happen is that I am going to be doing a full let's play of the entire game. Now the game is indeed very long. Um, so obviously the stream will be broken. We will be done across a couple of days, depending. There won't be, there won't be a set stream schedule, but it'll be done across a couple of days. Um, whenever I have the time. Uh, and if you're wondering how long the game is, it is... Well, let's see. I was given the game. I was given the game to play test before it came out. Um, I never got to finish it, but I got around to the halfway point, um, and that was uh, around thirty hours. Um, so the game is good, looking to be a good 50, 50 hours, maybe. Um, just want to double check, make sure everyone's hearing me, okay? Um, but yes, <laughs> we're gonna get started with this game. Um, I may need to actually close it and open it up again. Um, Lacrie Legends, Lacrie Legends, R R. Cool. And then I can. Oh, oh no. There we go. want to remove this and show the game, yes. And here we have it, uh, Lacria Legends. That's absolutely fine, Daniel Major. Um, the link to the game, I forgot to mention, if you want to play the game for yourself and don't want to be spoiled of anything, um, then you can, there's a link to the game in the description of the video. Um, it will be in the description of the video and all the streams that I do, um, and it's just completely free to play as well, um, so, you know, show, show Cooper Kush, who's the person who developed this game by himself, show him some love, he spent the last eight years, uh, making this game, this very much a big passion project of his, um, and, uh, very proud of how it's come out, I'm sure he has as well, uh, this game won, uh, there's this thing on the RPG Maker forums called the Missal so Award, right? It's basically the RPG Maker Oscars, so to speak. And the game came away with nine awards in different ca in different categories. Um, and one of them was Best Sound and Music. Uh, and another one was Game of the Year, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, but yeah. Um, unfortunately the stream isn't really for anyone who plan if anyone planned to play the game from the beginning um, I don't want to be spoiled uh, 
then they're free to go ahead and watch uh, play the game for themselves. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to continue ahead with this stream and just play the game from start. Well, I'm going to try and go from start to finish. If I'm going to go for as far as time permits me, honestly. Um, but the idea is to go from start to finish, or at least get to disc, or at least get to what the halfway, what I call the halfway point. Um, but yeah, let's begin. Today I'll be streaming for about an hour or two, depending on how I feel. Um, but yeah, the soul is created in the place between time and eternity. With its high, with its highest power, it touches eternity. With its lower, time. By Meister Eckhart. Are we destined to have an outcome? Wait, are we destined to have a determined outcome? Or do we possess the will to decide our own fate? You possess a very special gift. A gift that I have never seen before. I am certain of this. Uh, one second, sorry, give me one moment. It seems you and I have a future ahead of us. Everything in the end is written within time itself. So this track is the first track of the album called Melodies of Lacria. Um, I never knew that the song would be used in this way. I know it was the opening theme, but in my head it was going to be the title theme, like just what would be played during the title screen. The theme was very much uh, inspired by Dearly Beloved, especially the opening. Lacria Legends. Um, now this song is called. Oh, I forget. It's called um, "Quenched Thirst for Wisdom." It is called. Yeah, "Quenched Thirst." Quenched Thirst for Wisdom, um, and. It, I composed it for the intent to be used in a different part of the game. I never intended, I never thought it would be used for this sort of screen here. It works really beautiful. What are we going to name our character? Um, so note that our character isn't a, a silent protagonist. Um, I believe you can name all of your characters if you want. But they all have canon names, so the main character's canon name is Ren, and we're just going to keep it like that. Uh, 
And like every good RPG tale, it starts uh, with the main character sleeping in the bed. This song, this song you hear right now is called uh, Faint Whispers of Home. It basically serves as the theme for the main character's hometown and the area surrounding it. Hmm, that dream. These visions seem to be appearing endless, endlessly. Do they have some sort of meaning? They seem so familiar. I probably shouldn't worry about it. I guess I'll talk to, talk to Mum and see what she's doing. A Panadin soldier. Oh, yeah. There's an achievement system in it. There is an achievement system in the game, uh, which we can look at by pressing one. Uh, but you won't know what they are until you actually do them. And there isn't any, any, there isn't really any hints as to what uh, what they are either. in certain boxes to stuff. But oh well. Uh, where is she? She is there. Oh, Ren, you're awake, I see. How did you rest how did you rest it, my dear? Did you sleep well? I slept quite fine, Mum. Did I ever say, did I ever sleep? You've been snoozing a lot more than often. Uh ah, you'll notice soon that you'll need that you need more of it. You're not calling me old now, are you? Of course not, sweetie. A well rested sleep is always good. By the way, Lena went out to pick a few uh, went out to pick a few herbs for my soup. And she wanted to give you something. For me? Where did she go exactly? Oh, that's your sister, all right. She asked if you could go visit her in the Zensu forest. M Mom, you let her go alone? It could be dangerous. Relax, Ren. Your sister will be fine. She knows her way around that forest be better than anyone. Be sure to be back before sundown. I don't want the stew to get bitter now. Don't worry about a thing, Mom. I'll be back soon. Oh dear, I almost forgot. Here's something for you, just in case you need it. Your mom gave you 20 pieces of gold, now isn't that kind? Thanks for my allowance, mom. Unfortunately, this game, as far as I'm aware, as far as I'm aware won't get in a mobile port due to the nature of the engine it was used to make it, which is uh, RPG Maker 2003. Um, if it was made on RPG Maker, the latest RPG Maker engine, possibly, but this is this uses a, like a 15-year-old software <laughs> um, to be made, so I doubt it, honestly. Cool. So now we can leave. Um, now during my play during my play test, um, I did pretty much every single side quest there was to do, as, as, as I could find at least, and there were a bunch of side quests. Um, however, for the, for the sake of time, and the fact that I, that me personally don't want to have to go through everything again, uh, I'm just going to do this playthrough the fastest I can. That's my house. This way goes. Where does this go? Have I ever been here? I don't think I've been here. So anyone with a exclamation sign upon their head uh, is able to. Uh, you can go to them for a side quest. This is my favorite spot in the village. It's so nice up here. Hmm. I could use an orange right now. Yeah. Is that you? 
unfortunately I don't have any. Five pieces of gold, but I'm not gonna waste it because I don't have money. Oh wait, there's a chest up here. I don't know how to get it though. Get to it. That's fine. Step right up, sir. Care to buy some of these super special ultra rare flowers? Uh, I don't think I really have. I don't think I have much use for them. They don't have to be for you, you know. You could maybe buy them for someone you like. Listen, the name is Flora. I'm just trying to sell these flyers because I happen to need the gold. Oh, well, what, what for, if I may ask? Well, I don't think you would need to hear my plea. But for being, for, but for being the girl, wait, for being the girl that I am, I want to go out and, go out and explore the world, just travel everywhere I can. But for now, I'm going to continue raising some money like this. Well, I'll see what I can do. Thanks, I really do appreciate that. Uh, so, well, I just buy flowers from her? No? Wait, hold on. Okay, don't know how to continue that one. Continue that side first. Uh, I don't know where my character is. I've lost my character. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely. Ne I've definitely never been here before. So, um, in certain hidden places, you can find these things called the Gaia statues. And what they do is that basically they raise one of Ren's uh, attributes permanently, just by just by pressing F to pay respects. Uh, except it doesn't work on this one. Interesting. Maybe we need to come back later. Ooh. Alright, so this was a useless excursion, let's go back. Oh wait, hold on. These two plants here haven't grown yet. Grown yet, they don't want to bud for some reason. Perhaps some spring water from Zensu Forest would aid them greatly. Do you think you can help me find some? Why not? It's on the way. Welcome to the stream, from Slip. Oh, thanks, kid. Here's an empty bottle to collect the spring water if you find some. Cool. Uh, that's not on my way. Actually, what's in here? Ah, uh, yeah. This little thing will come in useful later. I just need to remember that it's there. Cool. We are now in the Zensu Forest. Um, the soundtrack, the uh, piece of music, the, the piece of music you're hearing right now, is called uh, "Nature's Guardian Slumbers." Um, parts of this theme is used in Lena, Lena's theme, uh, which we will be meeting soon. Was that a teleport point? Um, if you're talking about the orange glyph that we saw earlier. Um, it is not a teleport point, um, but we will be looking at it so, uh, soon. Basically, you get side, so you get your party members, right? And then you also get you the side the guest party members that tra that travel with you, but don't actually sort of fight with you in battle. Basically, they travel with you, don't really interact with the story too much, um, and they're completely not missable. But you can go, you know, through the entire game without recruiting a single one. Um, so they're optional guest party members. However, um, when they join you, they basically come, come with a special sort of ability. 
and they're able to um, activate those glyphs and they'll do a special sort of action. Uh, for example, one is a bard and if you stand on a, over a certain colored glyph she'll open the way to a, like a secret area. One is a magician and they'll open a way to this place. One um, has a, a, one is a, yeah, so the mag magician is able to make you turn, shrink you in size so you can enter like small little caves and crevices and stuff like that. Um, it's a neat little sort of feature. This boar seems to be an injured. There must be something around here I can use to help his wound, treat his wounds. Cool, so we're here. You're gonna be able to hear the battle theme really soon. Whoa, it seems you stumbled into a battle. Do you need a quick explanation? The battle theme, um, sorry, the battle system is pretty simple. I'm not going go to go through the tutorial because it's pretty simple. All it basically boils down to is that it's an ATB, classic ATB system. Um, you choose your attacks, you know, there's a weight, there's a weight counter. Uh, the, CT, the CT at the bottom of all the bars uh, it means charge time. It's basically the ATB counter. Once it's full, you get to have your turn. Simple as that. So this is the battle theme of the game, this is the battle theme for the entire game, um, and it is called The Sword Ascends Skyward. Um, fun fact, out of all the 50 pieces of music for the soundtrack I did, this is, this is actually the first piece I composed, um, and, th and because of that the melody that's used in this battle theme um, became the sort of main theme and melody for the entire game. Good evening, Kevin. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much. I've got to be a bit more careful around here. Hmm, Lena, where could you be? Luckily, um, all status ailments, uh, what's it called, they disappear after the battle. Um, so yeah, there's no, there's no such thing as a status ailment that persists after battle. So usually, you know, in some RPGs you get poison battle, and if you don't treat it, then, you know, as you walk around... <laughs> My bad, sorry, I'm dumb. Poison is the only thing, sorry, that persists after battle. Everything else doesn't, which is annoying because um, I don't have any antidotes or anything of the sort. Oh, we're off to a great start. Translation, okay. Oh, we're off to a great start. I don't have any antidotes. Something here, nothing here. I don't know why I'm here, there's nothing here. Okay. Um, some panic. We got this. We got this. I am not ready to battle by any means. Oh my god. Oh gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. On the verge of death. If I can make it back to the, uh... oh no, the poison, in, the poison in Final Fantasy X was the worst. Oh my gosh, that poison was not kind. It would like take off like a 
quarter of your health, like, every turn, it was the worst. Okay, that should have killed me. Yeah, okay. Let's try again. Also, thank you uh, uh, for the kind words, Loy. I'm poisoned again? Are you fucking kidding me? There's got to be something I have that can... I don't... Mm. I remember there's this thing you can get um, that uh, negates... That negates... Uh, what's the word? Poison. I forgot what it was. Ah, these would do just fine. I remember the med medicine mum would make sis and I with this plant. He used a plant to make a, made a herbal salve. I think this is the thing I need to give to that little animal that's injured. Yes. So, when when uh, when someone has a side quest for you, they they appear with a, an exclamation mark upon their head. When you have met the requirements for that side quest, then that exclamation mark turns into a question mark. Um, Personally, I think it should be the other way around, but yeah, you'll know when you've finished a side quest because it has a question mark above their head. Before that, let me just... Cool. Alright, hold still now. This won't take long. There we go. Better, little guy. Good on you, mate. There seems to be something inside the tree log. You received a smog ring. Yeah, this is the thing that's meant to protect me from poison. Yes. Yes. Right, it should be a lot easier now. Uh, especially since snakes are the only goddamn thing in this place. Dragon's Blood, that is, it restores 25% of HP and MP, so it'll be useful for later. What else is here? There appears to be some flint and wood in it here next to the torch. Do you want to light it? Now, the thing is with this game is that basically, um, this game is made in a way where it encourages, you, it encourages you to interact with a lot of things. Even things that don't seem like they could be interacted with. This goes especially true when you, do, when you tackle the game's dungeons. Um, the dungeons in this game are really akin to um, like Legend of Zelda sort of stuff where like the dungeons, aren't, the dungeons aren't things where you just walk through and there's maybe just a couple of enemies here and there with some treasure chests. Dungeons in this game are actual sort of like puzzles, and I don't just mean a dungeon where it has a puzzle room <laughs> here and there. I mean like the entire dungeon's a puzzle, um, and so you can spend a good like 45 minutes in the dungeon trying to get through it, which is really good, honestly, and really refreshing because it actually challenges you. But also, you have to interact with everything just to make sure you don't miss something. So this is the battle theme, oh sorry, the vic victory theme that I did, which is called, um, it's called Boar the Triumphant Hour, I think, no, sorry, Boar the Triumphant Vic uh, Juncture, um, 
I took inspiration from Xenosaga Episode 1. Uh, sort of, yeah, the first Xenosaga game, that uh, victory theme. I took inspiration from there. It's a nice little victory theme. And I didn't want to make something that was very sort of like obvious it was a victory theme, you know? Like, da 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 da. I didn't want, I didn't want to make something too happy, just, I don't know, change the game up a little bit. Um, in, Final Fantasy, in Final Fantasy X, actually, um, I think your character would only be turned to dust from certain enemies, especially post-game enemies. Especially the Dark Aeons. Or any of the uh, monster creations in the monster arena. And I think if you were stoned underwater, you would shatter immediately, like, without question. I've never played Golden Sun. I've I've I've, I've played a little bit of the of the DS one, uh, Dark Dawn or something like that, um, but I never got far enough to actually get into a dungeon. So even this place is a little bit of a puzzle. Um, we went one side and we um, we like lit um we lit up a torch. We went to the other side and we lit up lit up a torch. Um, it's those sort of things. Um, that you'll find a lot. If you see a lantern, an unlit lantern, chances are you need to interact with it. So now this is open. And this is the spring water. Which that guy needs, but I'll give it back to him on the way back. Yeah, Golden Sun is a game I need to play, I need to play for real. Um, what's here? Trees growing in, in caves? Oh, I'll be, oh. Triple chain attack? Activated! One, two, three! How are you alive? Oh my, one more! Shindeiru! <laughs> I don't mind a very difficult game. And I, I don't mind a very difficult RPG. What I don't, what I do mind is, uh, an RPG with stupid mechanics, Dragon, Dragon, uh, what was it, what was the game called? Breath of Fire 5, Dragon Quarter, hated that game. <laughs> Nani? But wasn't that snake, like, literally already dead? Like, I don't understand how it was still alive. You mean this? You mean this? I've had this game for about... I've had this game for about three years, maybe. Three years, maybe. Maybe four years. And I have not touched it. And the reason why I haven't touched it is because I've been to I bought the game. At a con. And then I was immediately told afterwards that, oh, yeah, that game's bad. Like, I don't know why you bought it. It's horrible. I'm like, oh, I bought it because it had Square Enix on it. And I'm a sucker for anything Square Enix. And had cute anime characters and it was an RPG and I was like, oh, this can't be bad. Apparently it's fucking trash. <laughs> so I have the copy. I just haven't played it and I don't think I want to. I don't know. Oh, wait. 
found a moss bandana. Thank you. Ah, oh, here we go, cutscene. But uh, before I continue with the scene, uh, this track is called, uh, well, the original song, the original title for the song was called Trouble Brewing, Brewing. Um, but, I went he but I went ahead and changed pretty much all of the soundtrack's names to something a bit more, had a little more, you know, pizzazz. Uh, so this one is called Tenuous Malice. Um, and essentially, it's played during sort of like serious moments, especially with villains involved. Okay, I think we're almost there. You all remember what we were ordered to do, am I correct? Yes, ma'am. Good. Remember, remember that if we do end up finding it, our orders were to leave the girl unharmed. We have to bring her in along with the amulet she possesses. Understood? Yes, ma'am. All right, men, move forward, onward. Oh, if the music's great, then I guess it's worth popping it in. At, at the very least. Unfortunately, I no longer have a PS3. I have three PS2s, though. One of which is um, an American one, and two of which is, uh, you know, PAL, a uh, European one. Um, I just don't know where the cables that, uh, for them are, so... Hmm. Who are they looking for? Could it be Lena? This isn't good at all. I can't be too sure yet. I need to find Lena now and warn her. Cool, so you gotta get ahead of them, dude. Oh, never mind. Left, right. Which way do I go? Let's go left. Okay, that's the save, the save, save point. Let's go, go right. Oh, no power point. So, there are two kinds of, um... Really? There are two kinds of save points. There are blue ones and purple ones. They both do this. They both essentially do the same thing. They allow you to save your game, except with the purple ones. No, except with the blue ones. Um, they're the only ones that allow you to. Um, they're the only ones that allow you to uh, recover your HP and MP. Uh, the purple ones just allow you to save your game. I'm um, low on HP. The same. The person who made. The Unlimited Saga OST is the same person who made the FF13 soundtrack. Is that right? I never knew that. I will have. I do have to look into that then. Hmm. Uh, this note, I can't look at that. That's just background. Welcome to the stream, Jacob. How are ya? Ooh, an orange just found amongst the spoils, nice. Um, interesting. Huh. Now I know what that does. Uh, I just remember this error from my from my playtest playthrough months ago. 
uh, months and months and months ago. And um, yeah, that's the thing that that's that's that little panel with the green stuff on the floor. Um, that's one of the things that uh, a certain future guest, optional guest party member can use to get you across. I believe, I think, I'm not entirely sure. Either way, that's something that you won't be able to do f until like way later into the game. Um, I'm doing well, Jacob, just playing the RPG that my music is in. Black Real Legends. Also, welcome to the stream, Stuart. And here is Lena. And this is Lena's theme, um, which was heavily inspired by Kyrie's theme from Kingdom Hearts. Um, also, you notice that uh, the melody also uses stuff from, you know, Zen Su Forest's theme, the theme you've been hearing so far. Um, but yeah, but yeah, was heavily inspired by Kyrie's theme from <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. And this is uh, this song is called. Um, oh, interesting! This comes up way later. What's the name of the theme? Hi, it's called Nature's Maiden Comforts. Um, but yes, also welcome to the stream or streamer Ryan. I did see your comment on one of my uh, uh, composition how to compose uh, videos. Um, I think you said something about whenever I do something by an improv, you wonder why I don't keep it. Um, I'm not good at I'm not good at talking, nor am I make good at making tutorials. So I might do an improv, and then I'm like, oh, I don't like it, I hate it, and then I don't know. Everything goes so fast, I suppose. Uh, but thank you for joining the stream. Is it exciting to play a game with your music in it? Also, this is a good track. Thank you. Um, yes, it is. It very is. Like uh, I've been waiting for this game to come out for ages because I started working on the soundtrack for this game about two years ago. Um, so to finally see it released is absolutely amazing. Um, and the see seeing the different ways the music is used as well. Remember, I composed 50 tracks for this. Oh, hi, Ren. I've been uh, waiting for you here. Did Mum tell you? Yeah, she did. Hey, did you encounter any guards in the forest by any chance? Hmm? Oh, I don't recall seeing any on my way. In fact, there's something about this forest. Something that I want to show you. Huh? The forest? Well, what is it, Lena? Do you feel the peaceful energy flowing about? The safe feeling you get here in this forest? Not too long ago, I met a friend here in Zensu Forest. Hey, it's me, Lena. Uh, this is my big brother, Ren. It's okay, you can show yourself. Fifth, what's the total? What's the total playtime? I do wonder, actually. Um, I think I can find that out on Spotify because the soundtrack is on Spotify. I think there's a way you can find out the total playtime. Uh, One hour and forty-eight minutes of music. <laughs> yeah, an hour for eight hours of music. Um, okay, so new track. This is um, this is uh, what's it called? It's called the Guardian Speaks. Um, yeah, basically this play has been everything, anything having to do with the spirits is involved. This here is Fenrir. Say hello to my big brother. You mean you can talk to him? But how? We seem to have formed a great connection spiritually. I can understand its emotions and language. Ren, I'm not quite sure. It's just something that I kind of kind of came came to me. Uh, 
Who knows? It could be. It could maybe be this amulet I have here. It's been acting weird lately. Sorry, just making sure. Okay, cool. Did you see an amulet? Lena, those guards and the lady and lady were looking for an amulet. Along with the girl as well. I don't know what's going on here, but we need to get out of here. Are they looking for me? I'm not sure, but we should just go home to make sure go to make sure make uh, to make sure. Going somewhere. Ooh, this track. Um, this is inspired by a lot of. Uh, this is inspired by Moise Sakuraba, the composer for like Star Ocean, Tales of, uh, Valkyrie Profile, uh, Golden Sun, so on and so forth. Um, this track is called. It has the longest name in this soundtrack. It is called Life Begets Death, Death Begets Life. Um, basically, it was meant to be used as a sort of hurry thing. Well, the brief I was given is that it was meant to be a sort of run theme or hurry theme or, you know, just something intense. Something something intense is happening at the moment. You know, we need a theme that you know, that's going to be intense, but not too intense. Just, ah. Uh, um, so I decided to go do something a little different. Um, not using many orchestral instruments and using sort of a bass, uh, bass uh, organs um, and guitars and stuff like that. And I think I made like a really cool, out, uh, cool song with it. Um, but what I didn't think it would be used for is this. I suggest you hand that girl over along with the amulet, amulet little man. Lena, stay behind me. I'll take care of this. What? What is that in the back of them? Oh, so he was right. So, it, so it appears that the girl is indeed a spiriter. Huh? A, a spiriter? Yes, Star Ocean vibes. Yes, yes, indeed. I love, I love my, I love me some Star Ocean. I really, I really like Moto Sakuraba. And sometimes I can do his style a little bit. Don't play foolish, girl. That amulet you have there is channel spiritual energy. You're able to call upon the energies of nature and energies within people. He's been looking for this for quite a while, and I won't fail him in retrieving it. Who is he? Someone is looking for this amulet, huh? Well, they're not getting it. <laughs> Pathetic. I do not need to tell you anything. We came to do as he desired. You're in my way. Nah. -uh. Oh, what are you going to do with that blade, Hotshot? Don't come any closer. So it's also sort of used as a battle, th bat uh, battle theme, boss theme as well. Oh my bad. Okay, sorry. I have no MP. I also have no health. I'm gonna die. I have no healing items. So I need to hit a hard and fast. I don't have any healing items at all. Oh, a guard is lowered. I didn't come here with... I didn't come here with too much health. At all. I didn't come here with many healing items either. Also, this is the game over theme, apparently. I've never, I've never had a game over mind. Um, and I talk like I've beaten the whole game. I haven't. I've only gotten maybe halfway through the game. Um, this is the game over theme. Interesting. Okay, so this track is called... This track is called Forlorn Heartache. It wasn't composed as a game over theme. It was composed as a theme for a sad scene, essentially. But I guess it's also, I guess uh, Cooper Kush decided to include it also as a game over theme. Um, yeah, no fair, what the fuck? Well, uh, fuck, okay, cool. That's fine. It's just fine. It's just, uh... It's just swell. Maybe I have a better chance if I come in prepared. Which means I have to go through the scenes again. Forgive me. 
I'm not going to skip it all. It's interesting, Lloyd, that you say this gives you a Star Ocean vibe, um, because I think there's a particular track from Star Ocean, yes, um, that was, uh, what's it called, that I inspired, well, that was inspired from, it was, uh, what's it called, it is called, it's the final boss theme of, uh, what's it called, uh, Star Ocean 3, uh, I forgot, what was it called, High, Highbrow, yeah, there's a part in Highbrow, um, in which this uh, theme takes uh, inspiration from. Trigger finger to make sure I get the turn in before she does because of the ATB. <laughs> Can you say clutch? <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> oh, yeah, clutch. Oh, man. Rising fangs is living. I should have not dropped my guard. You're a bit stronger than I expected at most. Fenrir, please help us. I'm scared. Hmm? I can't get near here with that spirit awakened. I need to take that amulet. <laughs> Lol, cheat tactics. Now get them! Well, that's me. Ren! Good. Now we've got what we came for. Leave the kid here. Let's head out back. I wouldn't worry too much, little girl. You won't be away for long. Well, that depends. We'll see if you end up proving useful to us. Ren. 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 No! Why not just stab the bitch? Problem solved. Game over. <laughs> it's 
Lena, Lena, where are you? Damn it, I didn't get her. Oh, my head. Who was that woman? Why were they after Lena? As a matter as of now, all I know, all I know is, is that I gotta get back, gotta get her back. I've got to head back to mom and let her know what happened. Yep, you fucked up. I wonder if you can leave without. Yeah. You found a mysterious emerald. It looks like this may have belonged to uh, Lena. Can't I? I have to leave manually. Um, yeah, sure, good. You go ahead, you can do that. Probably won't be able to read it uh, right now. Um, but I can give it a read. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, new song. Um, we have... Uh, new song called uh, Purity of a Spiriter. And basically that is the theme uh, of this character we're meeting right now. Um, I've never made a song like this before. Um, I don't often make songs that are very more piano based and happy and just light hearted like this. Um, so it was... An interesting experience, I suppose. Um, I hope to make more like this. Um, I can save the link. Yes, if you if you're able to send me a inbox message on Face, uh, not Facebook, on YouTube, because I don't think you're allowed to uh, link stuff on, into the chat. But if you send me a DM and let me know once you've sent it, then I can pick it up. As you can tell, I'm not from here. So I'm <laughs> you won't believe what happened today. Can you imagine? As you can tell, I'm not from here, so I'm not exactly familiar with this region. I'm sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Serene. Nice to meet you. I was wondering if you knew the way towards the village. Ren, listen, I'm sorry, but I have to go. There's things I need to do. She's asking for the way to the village, and you're on your way there now, dude. Don't be a don't be a drug ass. I can sense that you're troubled. Here, let me help you. Just relax now. Oh, I feel so much better. Wait a second. How did you? No need to ask. It's just something I can do. Uh, there's something about your energy. It seems familiar. My, my, listen to me, Babylon. Well, can you show me the way towards the village? Yes, of course. I was heading there myself. I'll walk you over there, no problem. Oh, thank you. 
I'm on my way to live uh Lia 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 village on a simple visit to the Haven now. The Haven? Have you been called to the have you been called to the uh, called to the place? It's a bit of it's a bit of a long story, but I don't mind sharing about it on the way there. Alright then, ready to go? You bet. Thank you for taking me with you. The charismatic Serene has joined your party. Nice. <laughs> okay, we've done his quest. Give, give that back. Oh, so you managed to find, to find some spring water. Uh, quick, hand me some here. Oh, would you look at that? They're finally budding. You've done me quite the favor bringing that there spring water here. I want you to have this. Hold out your hand now. You received a live file. I believe that this, yeah, revives a fallen party member. Cool. Awesome. Wow, so this is Lai Village. The feel of this place is peaceful. Say, Ren, is this your home place? Yeah, ever since I can remember. Oh, you must be so lucky. The air is so fresh and the flowers are pretty. You seem like you enjoy the bits and pieces of everything. Yeah, well, of course I do. Communicating with life is a life it's, it's, it's a way to uplift spirits. We help the planet as it, as it in turn helps us. It's a nurturing cycle that keeps us going. I'm sorry, I seem to keep blabbering on. Uh, you think so? Never hurts to learn a little more than what you already know, huh? Well, it's been nice meeting you, but I need to go from here. Oh, was there something you needed to do too? Yes, but it's also a bit of a long story. I think I can wait on the Haven for now. I really, I really would like to accompany you. Oh, you know what? I appreciate it, but I think I can head on myself from here. You are a stranger. You're not coming to my house with me. You don't need to accompany me wherever, everywhere. Oh, don't tell me you're afraid of traveling with me. What? Afraid? No way. I don't mind it. It's just that... I'm sorry, what? Well, let's go then. Don't worry, I'll be as much help as I can possibly be. What the hell just happened? Even I don't know. Right. Okay. I'll just ignore that. Also, I really love... So basically, um, there are periodical... Wet, wet, uh, day, not day and night so much, but weather effects. So sometimes it'll be windy, sometimes it'll be sunny, sometimes it'll be raining. And really love the effects. Makes the world feel really alive. Anyway, time to tell mom the bad news that her daughter's like possibly fucking dead. R.I.P. in pieces, I suppose. See, the game over theme was meant for situations like this. Oh, Ren, you're back. But where's Lena? She's fucking dead. She's dead, ma. She's dead. She's... She was... Kidnapped. And killed, ma. We came... Ah, oh, don't skip text. We came across these mysterious people in the forest. And they were after her. I wasn't strong enough. I let them take her. Oh no, my Lena. I shouldn't have let her go alone to begin with. You really shouldn't have. My precious little Lena, how could this have happened? I really hope she's safe right now. Well, I don't know, she's, she was kidnapped, so I don't think she's safe, but... Optimism, I suppose. 
Hmm, have I seen you around here before? Are you new? Lol. Um, why yes, I am actually. I met Ren here on the way to my onto the village. <laughs> I promised that I would help him on his journey. Did you? When? When 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 did that happen? My name is Serene. You are a kind soul. I thank you for helping us in any way. I promise I'll get her back. I'll find that woman and bring back Lena safe. Do you know where they could be? Maybe they're not too far away. If we take off now, we might have some time ahead of us to find them sooner. We can take the Westwood Creek to reach the next town and ask the people around there. They had to have passed that town on their way to the forest, so someone must know. Oh, if you're following if you're following me on Instagram, that might be the easiest. Good thinking. Well, should we get going? Excuse me, thought. When <laughs> did we ever make that promise? That's what I'm saying. Let me know if the stream is back. Um, I noticed that it died for a second. Um, let me know if everything's okay. <laughs> I always have. You're j I believe in you, my son. I always have. You are just like your father. I will be here waiting for your return. Please, really do take care of yourself. You're gonna hear that melody a lot throughout the soundtrack. Yeah, but it's basically what holds the world and the soundtrack together. Be safe, my dear, and you as well, Rick Serena. I will, Mama. Make sure you. you oh, this, these goodbyes are taking too long. Let's move. Uh, we've got a little sis. We've got a Demoto chant to save. So your sister, was she, she was captured? Yeah, she was taken by those people. I have no idea what they want with her. They must, they must, they just mentioned something about an amulet. That's about all I can remember. Hmm. Oh, I see, how strange. Yeah, that's, all that's important is getting my sister back. I'll deal with this situation within, within time. You're right. Well, let's get going, shall we? So, wait, no. Because weren't you going to the Haven? And by the way, if you wonder what the Haven is, it's this place. I think. No, this isn't the Haven. Is it the Haven? Yeah. To enter, you must be called to the Haven. Only then you will know what lies ahead of you. So she's meant to go here. But no, she foregoes that. And it's like, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna go with you. <laughs> For whatever fucking reason. But okay. Um, so we're gonna go this way. Okay. See this character here? She is among the first of the optional guest party members. Her name is Marion, I think. I forgot. Hello there, do you like my dancing? It's great. You think so? Thanks. My name is Marianne. I'm a wandering dancer as well as a musician. I notice you're a traveler yourself, are you not? That's right, I am. Oh, I knew it. The reason for me asking was about I was was because I happen to know a secret about Westwood Creek. There's a special location there that I just happened to stumble across. It just so happens that only I know of it. Maybe I might be able to share a such a magical secret with you. 
There's optional party members, but she doesn't actually join the party. She joins the adventure, but not the party, if that makes sense. Um, I'd have to charge you 35 gold, though. Hey, trust me, this secret is worth knowing. Deal. Thank you very much. I'm actually quite excited to help you out. I could use the adventure. There's a few things I can do to assist our journey. Take a look. Side party members cannot, cannot act like an ally in battle, but they can assist you through many field obstacles and other useful actions. Some side members can, can add their own unique special skill during battle. Sim simply call upon them using the items action. These skills will also reduce the user's MP. Marion can use her Mystic Dance ability to reveal many hidden secrets. Look for orange stars insignias in the ground and set the ability in the items tab. Marianne has joined your side party. So to use this skill, so do you remember the orange uh, thing that we saw earlier? Um, it was in here, I think. Yes. So this is the sort of thing that you can use um, side, pem side party members on. So Marianne is the orange one. And to use it, basically you go into items and you choose Mystic Dance. I haven't got it just yet. <laughs> cool. Alright. Ah, it's one of these ones, yes. Press F to pay respects. And it should give you a permanent buff. So, um, this place is big. This place is really big. It's easy to get overwhelmed. I'm just gonna go ahead and collect some treasure that I remember. How much money have I got? I might actually go back to town and buy some items because I'm not sure how well I'll fare out there. I believe this is the item. Oh, what's down here? Why, hello there, Ren. You seem quite collected today. It's a lovely day outside. The winds feel quite fresh today. So, were you herding, herding the sheep here to drink? Yes, I... Oh dear, it seems one of the sheep seems, seems to be missing. It must have drifted away while I was herding them over here. Ren, can you look, look for her? Sure. Ah, why, thank you so much. Okay, cool. Um, I think I saw a sheep somewhere. But anyway, I believe this is the shop. Oh nope, these are just the um, fruits. Where's the item shop? I saw it somewhere. That's my house. You're the shop. Okay. Also, I have for you an orange. Oh, right. You give her an orange. She moves out the way. And then you can go up there now to then go collect the chest. Which has a mana water. Oh, nice. Meanwhile, uh, 
that's a weak cherry pot potion. I'll grab three of those. Mana water. Grab no. Grab one more of those and grab. Yeah, we good. Awesome. Time to get the next act of the game on the way. I'm going to give the stream another 40 minutes and then we'll end it. Um, by then I should be able to do the next sort of part of the game. Okay, we'll see. This way is Westwood Creek, that way is Leah Village, and back there is uh, Leah Village. No, wait, back there's Leah Village and Zensi Forest. That way is uh, Hijira Mountain, which is a later part of the game. Um, now this, this is another thing that you have to use an item for. Um, we will find use for it later though. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to this place. Now this next area, which, okay. chest, okay. Ah, uh, this quest, quest is quite important because it, um, it allows you to unlock a certain feature of the game. Well, due to some problems, the trade route delivering my supplies have been halted. There were some explosions heard going off in Westwood Creek. I wonder what they could have been. I'll help you get your supplies. Really? Well, I can't thank you enough for helping me out here. If you manage to help locate my training supplies, I'll give you a most trusting reward. Uh, cool. Uh, this way leads... Nowhere. This way leads... Oh, to the place that's not um, unlocked yet. Basically, that place leads to the fishing pond. Um, and once you do the quest I just dissected, uh, it allows you to go there, go there and unlock the fishing pond, which in which you can fish for fish, I guess, if you're into that. Fishing was never really my thing. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Okay. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything. What's here, for example? This, this kid is like, what, 16, 17, maybe, 16, 17, maybe, Ren, I think that's his age. Oh, hello. Nice. Okay, onwards and normal, onwards and forwards. So the next area about to enter is called Westwood Creek. Um, fans of my music might recognize this track. Um, it's one of my favorite pieces that I made for, this, for the entire soundtrack. Um, I think I hope you guys will like it too. Uh, so this is called. Um, I call it the game name. It's called uh, Water and Blossoms. Um, basically, I named it due to the watery and blossomful nature, blossoming, blossoming nature. I can't really talk today, it's really weird. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I named it after the, you know, aquatic and blossoming nature of this area. This guy has a particularly interesting uh, side quest. Some of my men are still here searching around for leads to the incidents of the other guards seen here. I need a survey analysis report from them immediately, but I can't abandon my own post here. Can you help define them for me? Oh, thanks. I mean, uh, <clears throat> much appreciated, sir. There should be four scouts around the creek. 
If you can locate them all, I may give I may just give you a pretty nice reward. Dun 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 Okay. I can't move it any forward, okay. Now, I got fooled by this, right? This looks like a, a orange um, glyph, which I can use Mystic Dance for. Um, however, it is actually yellow and it belongs to someone else. All uh, right, well, thank you for joining the stream, Loy. Uh, it's copy school for the art. Yeah, school, school exists, right? Um, yeah, take care at school, uh, and I will be sure to read your, if I get it, I don't think I've seen it on my notifications yet, but I'll be sure to read your story, uh, once the stream's over, but take care and, and stay awesome. Scouts? Yes. Hello there. The creek is being investigated at the moment. You should go. What? The squadron leader is looking for me? Thanks for letting me know. I'll be on my way. And just like that, you're gone. One down for you, go. to mention but there is a bestiary area, a bestiary, um, which can only be accessed by going into the item menu. And it looks like this. It's pretty cool. It shows you the name, the description, a little bit about, about the animal or the beast, its weaknesses uh, and its attributes and what loot you can get from it and where you can find the enemy. It's pretty nice. The violin has the same vibe as the Asgore song. Oh yeah. Um, so in my in my uh, Asgore arrangement. Within my head, tell me run away, but I can Yeah. Um, this song was made first before the Asgore, and uh, basically that part in the Asgore song was taken from this song. Um, Every time someone hears this song, they're like, oh, that's your Asgore cover. I'm like, yeah. Um, yeah. That part of the Asgore cover came from this song. Where, where, 
him. A little bit mad about the encounter me. Yeah, but hey, at least I'm getting that sweet experience. But also, where do I go? I won't start learning any. I won't. I won't start learning any sort of elemental skills until a little bit later on, uh, which, is meant, which is the main reason why I haven't been able to sort of uh, exploit any enemy's weaknesses. So right now, it's basically just sort of attacking them with more elemental skills right now until I can uh, really sort of exploit enemies with their weaknesses. Now this introduces the bomb feature. Well now, what is it what what is this that we have here? Excuse me, but what business do you have coming around Creek? We are investigating it you know, as of now. Oh I'm sorry, I didn't seem to recognize you. You're one of the squadron leader scouts? No. Nope. Well it seems we found out that whichever guards were here were using these bombs for clearing. These things see the, things like these aren't exactly so easily available around here. This only leads to further conclusions. Here, take these to the squadron leader next time you next uh, to te and tell them to examine them. So we've got a bunch of bombs. Since you're not actually part of the scouting group, you could just take them for yourself. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do. So I have four bombs, and I can use them to clear the way. Uh, but I'm not gonna use it just right now. Basically, if I see any boulders or any cracks in the wall, I can use I can use the bombs to break clear the way. Oh, yeah, like this. Um, so bombs are like sort of finite, but not really. Um, eventually you'll get, to, you'll get to a place where you're able to buy them. But until then they're sort of finite and you only get them as the game gives you. Don't worry about it, Jacob. It's just an RPG. <laughs> Let me 
receive a mystic potion. Can I just jump down? No, okay. That fellow over there is getting messed up. Oh dear. Maybe I should have picked the fight. Stream had a little bit of a hiccup again. We were back on. Um, cool. There appears to be a strong force of magic barricading the entrance. That, that comes into play soon. We're not able to go this way. I'm pretty sure. Oh no no no. I think I found the guy's uh, cargo. To uh, ready and waiting for me to pick it up, but I'll pick it up way later. With the coming bottle. <laughs> and also, I don't really care about the fishing mini game either. Uh, I think I've used the three out of the four I have, so I one more left. You've received the razor edge, a new weapon. First elemental skill called uh, Crystal Shard. Summon Ice Shards to inflict a moderate fight ice damage. Okay, three out of four. This is the place Marion was talking about, the whole secret area. This is the secret location of the secret I told you about. Just a few more steps ahead. Huh? You mean here? What's so secret about this place? <laughs> Don't be too quick to judge your surroundings, boy. The harmonious energies of nature can reveal all around you. Up ahead on that star's insignia, I will show, exa show you exactly what I mean.
Boom, there we go. Like magic. And inside we have... An ancient fleet. A la Ocarina of, uh, you know, Zelda. Um, a long time ago, legends claimed that there was an ancient race that lived throughout this creek. They took part in many festive activities and celebrated their lives as great gifts were given to them by Gaia. Oh, as great as, as their lives given, uh, whatever, I read that wrong. Their lives were gifts, gifts given by Gaia. During the festivals, they would use a flute, such as the one you received, to play music as a gift to the spirits and Gaia herself. Because of such, such wondrous offerings and acts of gratitude, these flutes have been blessed by her. It sounds like something that should be kept within its customs. Why should I take this? Because that race is now extinct and you can carry it on, carry it on. You and I are different, but you can do this. Different. Through the power of music and dance, I developed a feeling of sensing energies about. You. You? What is it about you that I sense? Such mysterious brighter energy. You are fit to use this instrument. So you think I so you think I can use this? But I'm not even quite sure how to play it. There is one song I can teach you. It comes from the very same legends of the ancient race. Relax and follow my rhythm. Yeah, it's a fucking flute, lol. <laughs> Do you feel it? The energy? The rhythm? It's your turn, now take the lead. You learned Nature's Embrace. That was Nature's Embrace. One of the three songs that was played in their festivals. They say that the spirits of the plants can hear this melody. It has the power to remove or grow them. There are many places around Lacria where you can use this melody. I'm sure you know when to use it. You sure weren't kidding when you said this was some big secret? Well, this, this is just the start of the adventure. Let's just call it even for now. And that's that, I guess. Now I remember when I, when I was playtesting, right, for the longest time I didn't know where to go. Like I was like, where do I go from here? Like the story, just like I spent like a good half an hour, the story was, the story was not progressing and I was frustrated. How the fuck do you learn to use a flute with fucking mocarenas? Mo tambourine? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know, Jacob. It's just. It's, it's doing its best. Ah, uh, it's not here. Oh, you know what? No. The thing I want. The thing I could use it on is way, way back out of the dungeon. So I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Yeah, for the longest time I didn't know where to go. Um, but then I realized the way to go is this way. The speed up, does it? Is it? No. I thought it was a permanent speed boost, speed buff, but I guess not. Double chain attack activating. Okay, cool. There's something in the water. Okay, so crystal shard.
Ah, oh god. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say I was just in the battle, but it's because it wasn't a random battle, so... Oh, the good thing, the good thing about leveling up is that, um, it, re it refreshes, um, it restores your HP and MP upon level up, which is always nice. to see if there's any enemies that are weak against water or ice. Well, I'm not fighting those enemies. We're looking for enemies within the Westwood Creek. Nope, nope. Oh, the, the plants are weak to ice. So are the manions, mantids. Talking to you, dude. Hello there. Oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Same old dialogue. Nice. I love a good OHKO. We can get this way a little longer. Ah yes, one of my favorite one one of my favorite sort of tra tracks from the game is coming up. Uh, it's pretty quiet here. It feels a bit weird. Nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh wait, no, this is okay, no, it doesn't play there. My bad, sorry. <laughs> this track again. An impromptu boss fight. Oh no, what is that? It's probably a serpent that lives in this creek. Must be agitated from the explosions that went off earlier. You think there's any way we can calm it down? I don't know, the beast seems to be enraged. We must proceed with caution. I'm sorry, but it looks like we have no choice but to fight. Oh yes, this is the theme. Yes, there we go. One of the... Oh god, I can't. I cannot pause. Okay. One of my favourite tracks, um... Of the entire soundtrack that I composed. This is the mini boss theme. So there's a boss theme and then there's a mini boss theme. Um, so basically, this is the boss theme for bosses that aren't actually sort of like main or major bosses sort of thing. Um, and it's called Flare for the Dynamic.
Ah, yes, Ripple Relic was found amongst the spoils. Now these relics are really cool. Uh, you can, they can be equipped to your party members. Uh, however, sometimes they get their rare drops from bosses. So you might not always get them. In which case you'd have to reload and try again. Whew, well, it looks like we took care of that. You're right. Yeah, I'm alright. Thanks to you. Listen, we should keep heading on to Aramus Town. It's not too far up. Are you alright, Ren? You seem to be getting dizzy. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. <laughs> Douche. I was going to say it's high time to wrap up the stream, um, however, I do want to save, so we're going to have to get through these scenes, and oh god, if I remember correctly, it's a bunch of lengthy scenes, but rather interesting interesting scenes, nonetheless. Um, things are start, going to start to get interesting. At some point. Okay, so this, I got something wrong. There's a song near the beginning of the game um, that I called uh, Quench, First, Quench, Quench Thirst for Wisdom. That's not the name of the song. This is Quench Thirst for Wisdom. Uh, this, this name of the other song was in fact... Uh, the Guardian Speaks. <laughs> but yeah, this is um, a song called the Quen Quench Thirst for Wisdom. Um, it basically takes place it only plays during the astral astral realm, which is where this is which is where this place is. Um, this is where the interesting part of the game happen. Um, what is this place? Ah, so you finally have come. <sighs> Who's there? Where are you? My, my boy, do you not know where you are? I welcome you to the Astral Plane. A plane where the physical cannot cross into this realm. A place of experience and knowledge. Do not fret when I tell you this, but this is the realm of your very own mind, Ren. Who are you? I am the Grand Sage Shiro of the Astral Plane. I watch over all of what happened here. I have seen time weave many fates across moments in your life. How did I get here? I can't say much about that to be honest, for how you came to be here is a mystery itself. You must have felt it then, did you? The spiritual force drawing you into the realm of your mind. Think of this as a calling to yourself. You have come here for a reason, a guide. Am I dead? Well, no, you're not dead, but neither do you possess a physical body to move around here. Only your spirit can pass into the, into the astral plane, for it's spirit, spiritual, not physical. I see, so I have come here to seek a guide for myself. Hmm, it begins to make a bit more sense. Fate has, has, fate has something very special planned for you, Ren. You are destined for a higher purpose. None of this is familiar to me. What exactly do you mean? Is only much is is only that much clear to you through your visions? Do you not do you not remember surroundings or feelings? Can't say I do. Everything seems like a blur when I try to remember. So what does fate have in store for me anyway? I cannot say. If I told you what you needed to do, would it happen? Or would something alter it? Oh, I see. Well then, what more can you tell me? In the beginning of the creation and shaping of this world, Gaia created six essences. These six essences were the properties of elements and life. They worked harmoniously together. 
They were nature, fire, water, earth, light, and shadow. Great legends speak of one, one that is destined destined to absorb the six essence of essence. Uh, great legends speak of one that is es- destined to, destined to absorb the six essences and maintain planet life. The person plays a great role in the preservation of the planet. He is the astral walker, or the guardian. Oh yes, that's right. The legend of the guardian. Where have I heard that before? Think a little bit harder. Try to recollect your memories. Father, that's right. I remember him teaching me the legends of of the Guardian and of Gaia. That's right. There is something about Lacria that many do not know. I can't share this just yet. First, I need you to acquire the essence of nature. It is the first key to commencing your great journey. The essence of nature, but why do I have to find that? Is it possible that I have a tie-in with the legends? I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Well, we do not know that yet, but there can be no time to waste. Welcome to the stream, Jelly Bean. I just so be happen to be eating jelly babies. They like jelly beans, but uh, these are bears actually. It's a little little bears anyway welcome to the stream <laughs> welcome to the stream um well we don't know yeah um i promise that soon all will be revealed to you Oi. well where can i well where can i find the essence of nature you can find the essence hidden deep within the arm in ruins in the west of the creek the arm in ruins is the place where there was that entrance, but we couldn't go through. Ah. Where each essence is hidden, Gaia has cast magic to prevent the entrance to protect them. Each located. Mm. <clears throat> ah. Each location has the corresponding gem that must be imbued with spiritual energy in order to, c- to gain access. In this case, you would need na- the Nature Emerald and someone to channel spiritual energy. This notifies Gaia that one is capable to endure the trials to retrieve the essences. An emerald? You mean like this one? Ah yes, you have already find, found the emerald. This is the mysterious emerald that we that Lena dropped before she was uh, after she was taken away uh, in the beginning. This will make things much easier. I'm sure you're, you're acquainted with the spiriters? Spiritus, that woman that ambushed us in the forest, she called my sister a spiritor. You are familiar with the acts of a spiritor, yes? Not so much, please explain. A spiritor is one that can sense and channel spiritual energy into one another, or an object. They are able to read emotions and commune with spiritual beings, such as the one you encountered. Lena and Fenrir. You are catching on quick, Ren. But there is someone else who can help you on this on this quest. I want you to close your eyes and think deeply for a moment. Huh? I feel so much better. Wait a second. How did you... No need to ask, it's just something I can do. Something, there's something about your energy, it just seems familiar. Serene, she's a spiritual as well. The answers will come to you within time. We will be meeting again very soon, I assure you. We will speak again once you have found the essence of nature. Wait, wait, Shiro, Shiro! Arise, Ren. Arise. Ren, please wake up. Serene. 
Ren, you're okay. You had me worried sick there. What happened? Yeah, I'm fine, I guess. I just got dizzy or something. We just blacked out out there right after we finished off that monster. I tried waking you up, but it seemed like you were just out cold. Well, I'll be fine. Don't worry, okay? How about we keep moving onwards towards Aramis Town? You bet. I can't wait to see what's across from here. Is it beautiful out there? I haven't been there before, uh, but there's always a first time for everything, huh? Oh, I'm excited now. Are you sure you're in good condition to be traveling? I'm f I feel fine, really, I do. I want to get there before sundown. It looks like we'll have a, we have a little, little time. All right then, let's just get let's get going. You have found an elemental relic. Oh, that's the thing that dropped from the uh, boss. These relics are very rare to come by and sometimes drop off mini and dungeon bosses. Sometimes. You have to equip the relic in the menu to have the abilities active. These relics provide huge stat upgrades, resistances and special perks to your character and available skills. For example, the Fripper Relic. So she, so basically there's different spirits and each spirit is a spirit of a, of a, of a certain sort of uh, element. Uh, the elements that we just, we just discussed, nature, 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 fire, water, nature, fire, water, light, shadow, missing one, earth. Um, and uh, I think it's earth. I believe so. I'm not quite sure. But either way, um, and uh, basically, Serene is as a spirit of water, so therefore she's able to use water and ice magic. So she's able to equip water and ice-based relics. In this case, Ripper Relic. It gives her a bunch of stat upgrades, as you can see. Um, it also um, allows Chakram, Chakram Throw to inflict water damage instead of instead of just normal damage, um, which is useful. Um, we are almost done with this today's stream. You are a shop. And you sell a bubble scroll. Also, scrolls allow um, allow you to teach a skill to a character. So in this case, I can learn Bubble Blast for Serene, which is going to be definitely, definitely going to be useful. I'll buy um, two hollow conches. You earn the achievement skills that kill. Acquire a hidden skill that can be learned. Uh, speaking of skills, I need to use the bubble scroll. And Serene. And now she has bubble blast. And we are now officially in Aramos Town, uh, the second town of the game. Um, this is a new track and it is called um, Collective e Epoch. Um, it's basically just, I don't know, I was given a brief of the, of the town, um, had a lot to do with um, time and this general, you know, general, uh, what's the word? It's a general sense of community within this town. Um, it also houses a library as well and they would believe there's a mayor of this town as well i think but um yeah we're gonna end this stream here um so i feel like i've made a bit of progress what's the play time i've got an hour and 47 minutes i've made some progress um but yeah this is the game that my music is in i'm gonna be doing more of this um thank you for joining for joining the stream those who have watched i will play more of this uh if you look in the description of this video, um, I have included links uh, where you can download the game for free, um, so you can get, play it yourself. You can also uh, download the, out, uh, the soundtrack of the game for free on my Bandcamp. Um, it is uh, free to download, or you may pay what you want if you want to donate or help me out. That is also an option. You can also stream the uh, soundtrack on Spotify, uh, 
all three links are available in the description below um but that'll be me for tonight uh until next time uh take care and stay awesome